Get excited about your life. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. You know, so many people, especially as they get older, get less excited about their life. Maybe they've already achieved most of their goals, or maybe they've been disappointed along the way, or maybe they feel like life is just not working for them. I believe in being excited about our lives. I know that there can be times that can be difficult and challenging and all we can feel is like we're surviving. And there are times to just feel like you're surviving. But when times are going okay or going good or going great, run with them, dance with them, sing with them and make the most of them. You know, there are times that we have to stop in life for one reason or the other. We have to focus on whatever it happens to be whether, you know, if you're going through a crisis or a sickness or whatever, and that can slow life down or even bring it to a standstill until you can get through that. And yet when times are okay and good, for me, I run with them and I dance with them and I make the most of those times. And so I believe in, you know, I'm everyone's personality is different. Mine is a very energetic, ambitious personality. Not everybody is in the ambitious stage of life, and I respect that. There can be people that, that were ambitious their whole life and are no longer ambitious. Their ambitiousness may be just to be well enough to get up that morning out of bed and maybe go out for a bite to eat later in the day. So it depends upon the time, time of our lives. And yet, um, age really has not a lot to do with that because you know we can still be ambitious even when we're old. We can still have plans for the future that are always subject to change, you know, because we can't predict everything in the future. So our plans are always subject to change. Although without plans, we're probably not going to go anywhere or get anywhere. We're going to get a lot further with plans than we are without plans and with, you know, with implementing the right plans at the right time. And yet um, I believe in always looking forward, always dreaming, always being excited about life. And if there are times that you're going through difficult times, then it may be time to take some time out and just rest and recharge and do what you have to do to get through that difficult time. But once you've gotten through that difficult time, hopefully you're gonna get back out on the road, creating your very, very best life. You know, when people are going through grieving, often, you know, they never, stop grieving about somebody. They will always love that person. And yet they, at some point, they find a way to go on and live a very positive life, always holding that person or situation dear to them that perhaps they lost. And yet it's important at some point to go forward. Once a person gets physically well from a, a problem, an illness, it's important to pick back up to the best of their physical ability and otherwise, and create their best life. You know, like I said, sometimes we do have to take some time out, and other times we can jump back into life. And I believe in jumping back into life once we've, you know, gotten through everything. Sometimes people are able to continue to roll along, problems and all, and they're able to continue to create their best life anyhow. Other people, depending on the circumstances, may have to pull back for a while. And then when they've gotten through to the best of their ability, they can jump back out in life, maybe in a totally new way, maybe in the same way that they did before. The important thing is, is to appreciate and love your life where you're at today. Enjoy today. Cherish your memories. Plan for the future, your future in a most positive way. And yet, savor the moment. Enjoy today and make the very most of today and create new, wonderful, lasting memories, no matter how small they may be, by enjoying your day. From my house to yours, I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.